More evictions underway at Wood Street. Caltrans crews launching phase two of the project to clear out the Bay Area's largest homeless encampment. And while the plan has been in place and in motion for weeks, some residents, well, they still don't have a place to go. Another week, another round of cleanup underway at the Wood Street encampment. Dozens of Caltrans workers on site removing everything from trash to abandoned cars. It's not actually the homeless who are coming here and creating this trash. Some protesters turned up with signs supporting the camp's residents, but can only look on as the evictions continue. A few weeks ago, crews started at the camp's north end near the MacArthur Maze. They're now working their way south down the I-80 corridor, a span of nearly 25 city blocks. The silver van here is in my way. I can't even get my motorhome out right now because the thing is in my way. Michael Gosney has spent the last three and a half years at the encampment. He says he thinks forcing everyone out will only make things worse in Oakland. We're away from the major city part, you know, downtown. I'm trying to be out here away from everything so that, so that we don't bother nobody. It's hard to find, it's hard to find a place, you know what I mean? Gosney's still not sure where he will end up long term, but he and other residents we spoke with say officials gave them plenty of notice to pack up. We're in a very difficult situation. I think they've done a good job. Peter Doder has called Wood Street home for 11 years. It was a good run. While he's sad to leave, he's planning on moving to some city owned land that won't be a part of any Caltrans sweeps. You just take all your stuff and move farther on down the road. I mean, the people that are waiting to do this at the last minute, I'm not really sure what their uh, train of thought is. Caltrans tells us phase two of the project impacts about 40 people, and of those 40, they say so far, 12 of them have accepted alternative housing offers. The entire camp is expected to close by November.